Alright. Hello guys. For another Terraria U video on how to defeat Duke Fishron. Now, this is not a requested video, so don't expect any shoutouts or anything. Uh, I kind of wanted to make a video, so just really ignore the background. Uh, like, just ignore the background, really. Like, I wanted to make a video because my previous video, how to defeat the Frost Moon, is not getting any attention, really, which I'm pretty disappointed, actually, because I used to have the. Like I'm, I'm not really a huge YouTuber or anything. I don't really expect a lot of. I'm not. I don't really expect anything really. However, I'm sure I have capabilities of at least having one or three subscribers. You know. <clears throat> so I did. I did some progression right now, and I kind of got to this point of the game where I can't really progress any further. You know. What's got me wondering, uh, how am I going to continue uh, Terraria? Now, it turns out that one day I might get the PS4, baby. Like, I'm going to get a PS4 in Christmas 2018. Ditch the freaking PS3, I'm done with that crap cons console. So, yeah. To understand Duke Fishron. Now, Duke Fishron uh, is like is a boss in Terraria was added in the 1.2 update and he first started as a meme at first but he was actually released to the public he was released in, to the game now the problem now now this character has a lot is really really fast like so fast you can't you, you cannot dodge him like you have to have if you want to at least dodge him at least once, you have to at least have a fish run, fish run wings. So. And to get fish run wings, you have to defeat him. And it took me like, uh, I would say, uh, 55 times to get him. A lot of people say it's like a, they got under like the fifth or first try. In my eyes, I got, I got it on my like 42, 40 second, like 40 second times. Like 42 times. <coughs> 40, the 46th time, man, it took me a while. So, yeah. We're not gonna be. And now, his drops or following. Uh, you can get the, a flare on. Uh, Alright, pretty dope. I use this to defeat the pumpkin moon or the frost moon. I mentioned it on both of my videos. Um, you can t check out my channel uh, to find those two videos. Pretty dope. Um, I. Fishron wings, the tsunami, like he can drop the fishron wings. He can drop the tsunami, which is a, which is really good, a, a good rain, a, a good bow and arrow. Um, the razor, t the razor blade typhoon, a, another good one, and the bubble gun, not bubble gum, bubble gun. So let's just summon the dang thing and tell, and I'm gonna tell you guys some tips. All right, let's get this do it. Loadout. Get the Celestial Tunnel. And the Onk Shield and a pair of wings. Trust me, you need those. So, one, now you can use a, a, a fishing pole, a wood fishing pole, or any pole, fishing pole at all, okay? So, if it, so the power of the Flay Rom first. Um, actually, let's get to gear now. So, before we get to that, uh, um, we're gonna. We're actually just gonna like tell you guys how to summon it. You need a bunch of truffles, a bunch of truffle worms to summon it. You need at least one truffle worm to summon it. And trust me, you need an arena, another an arena. You can only summon it in the ocean biome. Oh, another thing is that uh, another thing is that uh, this entity right over here, this entity uh, is just. Uni is so strong, uh, one of the tools, uh, you physically cannot outrun that. How does that thing go through it? Anyways, for some reason, uh, it makes a 666 reference. If you don't know what that means, uh, it means the devil, my man. Yeah, and also get some healing potions as well. 
and uh, also the well-fed buff. Either get, I would recommend get the pumpkin pie. That thing is the best on on console and PC. It's 45 minutes, but on old generation, it's uh, an old generation. It's old generation and uh, mobile and 3DS. It's uh, 15 minutes. However, probably one day they might update the, the game on mobile. And yeah, yeah, pretty dope, right? So, to summon it, you need a truffle worm, and those things are summoned in the uh, in the mushroom biome. Now, every world has it, so you don't have any excuse, buddy. And this is like a testing world, so don't expect much. Yeah, it's like one of the. It's like it's pretty blue. It's pretty blue actually. I'm not gonna make an unblue reference. Sorry, that's. I swear, that's, that means done. Probably. <laughs> Anyways. Now. Now, another thing you gotta understand is that. If you think that. Uh, if you are having a hard time dodging him, don't worry. Everybody has gone through that. Uh, you gotta understand how he. How he works, as you can see, you can. I'm gonna make a full on like, fif uh, a 15 minute, like a probably like a 15 minute video of me like fighting the dang thing, so you can guys, so you guys can anticipate him. Now I recommend using a flavor on if you defeated him before, if you're lucky enough. All right, if you're lucky. <sighs> Terribly is, a, is an absolute joke. Yeah, the uh, you can see. 102 versus 136. <clears throat> the, first of all, the Terror Blade is a single shot, meaning you actually, meaning you actually need precise timing, and also if you you need to be very accurate as well. If you want to hit the dang thing. Flayron, it's like more of a newbie weapon, and you can literally like spray and pray, and you can deal like thousands of damage. No joke. Like I'm not joking with you. Thousands of damage. Like no wonder this thing. Is. Like every, sh oh, crap. every shot that the Flayron releases is uh, is probably on the average like five. Is like eight hundred damage, <clears throat> not including critical hit. Most likely eight hundred damage to one thousand. Most likely. So now you got. So another thing about your gear, and uh, you oh, I forgot to mention the tempest rod, Sent the tempest staff. Man, I really need to work on my English. But yeah, no one's perfect, you know. Also, um, you could use the frozen turtle shell. I did this before. I did this without the, the frozen turtle shell. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I just want as much defense as possible as you can see. It's my um, out loadout. You better copy this if you want to win like 100% of the time. Trust me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's really it actually. Uh, for gear, now I'm using like end rock and end game equipment here. Pretty dope, you already. So yeah. So honestly, another thing about Duke Fisher on is that he's not the. I just want this as like long as possible. I'll tell you that. Yeah, there's really nothing else to talk say about Duke Fisher on. So this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So this is gonna be the last. Uh, the last time I'm gonna fight him. So yeah guys, peace out, and watch, and yeah.